Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we'll be checking out the Iron Man Mark VI 2.0 Deluxe Edition die-cast six-scale figure by Hot Toys from Marvel's Avengers. The massive box's front artwork features the Iron Man Mark VI armor emerging from the suit-up gantry with its chest armor removed, while the back showcases the Mark VI in full combat mode during the Battle of New York. Pulling the contents from that box reveals the Mark VI 2.0 as well as a wide array of accessories at rest in a pair of plastic trays. Additionally, a second pair of trays features all of the components needed to assemble the Stark Tower suit-up gantry. Here are all of the figure-specific accessories that accompany the Mark VI 2.0 figure, which you can see standing there in the center. Off to the right, you'll see a pair of laser beams, a battle damage chest plate, the swap-out portrait of Tony Stark, a neck ring for that portrait, a battle damage faceplate, a series of swap-out forearm rockets in their deployed configuration, and a pair of swap-out deployed shoulder rockets. Laid out on the table in front of Iron Man is an assortment of swap-out hands, including a pair of hands with articulated digits, a pair of hands with repulsor palms, and a pair of hands with deployed laser cannons. Over on the left is a tool for adjusting Tony's eyes, a pair of tools for installing the batteries, and an assortment of exposed internal armor pieces, including a back plate, a chest plate, two shoulder plates, a helmet, two outer thigh plates, and two front thigh plates. The Iron Man Mark VI 2.0 figure features a top-to-bottom redevelopment of the classic armor as it appears in the original Avengers movie, faithfully painted in the character's signature colors of metallic red and gold with silver accents in strategic areas of the arms and legs. The entire armor features a segmented construction that loosely mirrors the structure of human musculature, punctuated by an inverted triangular arc reactor in the chest, and close examination reveals detailed weathering in the paint. That weathering continues in the armor's beefy legs, which are scalloped at the boots for better articulation, and which features articulation in the calves to expose some of the armor's inner workings. Articulating the flaps at the back will expose even more of that interior, and the innermost portions of the shoulders will also raise up to expose a grouping of offensive rockets. The outermost segments of those shoulders can be swapped out for a pair with exposed missile launchers, and both the chest plate and the face plate can be exchanged for their battle damage equivalents. The four individual segments of the forearms can be removed and replaced with equivalent segments which create a ring of exposed mini-rockets, and swapping out the hands for the fists with exposed laser cannons will enable the implementation of the included laser beam effects. Hidden compartments in the head, back, and biceps will allow for the implementation of the included button cell batteries. Each compartment also includes a switch that will power the light-up features in the eyes, the arc reactor, and the forearms and hands. The portrait features an excellent likeness to that of Robert Downey Jr. in his role as Tony Stark in the Avengers film. Every detail of Stark's familiar face is painstakingly recreated through the twin pillars of sculpt and paint, presenting a slightly amused, even cocky expression to the face of the fan-favorite character. And the thick, wavy locks of hair are intricately sculpted and finished in multiple layers and shades of brown. The eyes of that portrait are fully articulated, allowing for the direction of Tony's gaze to be altered in whatever way best suits your display. Once assembled, the Deluxe Edition suit-up gantry is a substantial accessory with a great deal of shelf presence, with multiple semicircular rings studded with mechanical componentry and manipulator arms extending from the base of a series of shallow steps. Those manipulator arms are fully articulated and can be stylized in multiple ways to recreate the process of the armor's removal, while the Deluxe Edition's included assortment of exposed internal components can replace those armor pieces that have been removed by the gantry. A USB port at the back will accept any standard USB-C cable. That cable will power the suit-up gantry's impressive light-up function in the steps and the rings, adding a whole new level of realism to the display, and fully evoking the iconic set at the top of Stark Tower. The Mark VI 2.0's helmeted head rests on a double ball jointed neck. It will look in all directions, as well as lean a bit to either side. Articulating the pauldrons out of the way will safely maximize the range of motion in the arms. Doing so will allow the shoulders to shrug, dip, press, and row. The arms themselves will lift laterally about 90 degrees. And they'll also rotate to the front or back a full 360 degrees. Double jointed elbows will allow the arms to bend about 135 degrees. And a pivot joint above the bicep will allow for some rotation there. Extending the torso like so will considerably increase the range of motion there. With that accomplished, the torso will crunch to the front, extend to the rear, and lean a bit to either side. 
while also providing a decent amount of twist. The legs can be extended thusly at the hips, while these two armor components can be articulated out of the way. Doing so will allow the legs to lift laterally about 45 degrees. The legs can also raise to the front more than 90 degrees and about 45 degrees to the rear. Double jointed knees will bend about 150 degrees and a pivot joint in the hips will provide some articulation there. The feet will extend to the front, rear, and inward. And a bonus joint in the balls of the feet will allow for some toe articulation. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Iron Man Mark VI 2.0 Deluxe Edition die-cast six-scale figure by Hot Toys from Marvel's Avengers. For more information about this figure, or to check out the wide assortment of Marvel-related collectibles available from Hot Toys, follow the link below. Thank you for watching our video, and as always, don't forget to let your geek sideshow.